Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Battle Shell Leonardo and Donatello repaints from the new Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lineup. That's right, I've already taken a look at some of the repaints that are hitting store shelves right now, and among all of those refreshes are brand new paint decos for the Battle Shell Turtles, at least... Leo and Donnie, because these are the only two I've seen so far on store shelves. It's very possible and likely that all four of them are getting this treatment, but today we're just going to look at these two right here. So as you can see, uh, the packages that they come in represent the new Tales of the TMNT boxes that we've seen with all of the repaints so far. Uh, I really love these new card backs. They're bright and colorful. I love the blues that have been incorporated in there. And of course, it fully showcases our figures within. We even have a little image on the front letting you know that the shell opens up for storage uh, features there, uh, which is a throwback to the vintage toy line. Very, very cool stuff. And you can kind of see um, the way that these are recolored, but we'll take a closer look at that in just a bit. As we flip these around to the back side of the box, one thing that really makes these stand out, of course, is the cutout here that shows you the weapons stored in the figure's back. I actually really like that. I think that's a very cool design. We do still also get an image of the characters from the cartoon series with a brief bio as well, and a look at several other figures from the lineup, uh, none of which on the back of the box are new. These are all older figures here. So, let's go ahead and get these guys taken out of the packages and get a closer look at them. All right, so here we go, our Battle Shell Donnie and Leo outside of the packaging. So as I said in the beginning, these are repaints. So everything going on with the sculpt of these guys is exactly the same as what we saw with the original Battle Shell figures that came out way towards the beginning of this line. It's crazy to think that was so many years ago at this point. But the overall look of these guys has been pretty much what most of the Turtles figures in this entire lineup have been based upon ever since they came out. So these are, um, you know, they've, they've been kind of like the favorite sculpts anyway. They're a little bit more cartoon accurate. We just have some new colors going on here. The only other weird thing that's a little different and I don't know if it's just the way that these were molded, but the bottom of the feet, <laughs> they're a lot more rounded uh, this time around instead of flat, which definitely causes uh, some issues standing them. You can see, I mean, they still balance, but look at the way their feet are kind of up off the ground. It's because of the way that the bottoms of the feet aren't entirely flat. And that's, that's a little annoying. It does kind of bug me a little bit. But the rest of the figures... Still the same as before, still function with the same articulation with the ball joints at the heads, the ball-like joints at the shoulders, you know, you got the elbow bends, the swivels at the elbows, and the swivels at the wrists, and those joints at the thighs, knee joints, and swivels there. So, uh, nicely articulated, pretty much the best uh, articulation that we can expect from the TMNT lineup from Playmates. So, the one gimmick with these, of course, is the fact that their shells open up. So, before we talk about the real differences here, let's go ahead and show that that feature off uh, real quick for anybody that may not be familiar with it you can see both turtles here have the ability to have their shells opened up which reveal more weapons so they come with their signature weapons the bow staff for donnie the katanas for leo but aside from that leo also gets uh a couple little extra bladed weapons he's got uh the longer one he's got the shorter little knife one here which I'm just dropping all over the place. There you go. Got the little shorter knife there. And then you also have two ninja stars. And I really like it because there's a really nice way to display all those in the back and really house them there. You can see there's uh, little notches basically that fit all of these things perfectly. Um, so you can see I got the little ninja stars in the center there. I uh, should be able to get the knife. There you go. The knife sit right there. And then, you know, I can place this larger blade. It's got a little hook right there at the top so these are nice and it gives you an alternate way to display the figure with some extra weapons uh he doesn't hold on to the small knife very well it's because it's a little small for his hands but you can definitely find a way to make it work donatello uh similar also comes with two little purple ninja stars you can see there and then he also has this uh larger kind of sectioned out staff weapon I, i'm sorry i don't know the proper name for it but you can see you can kind of flex it out there and he can hold on to that nicely uh both hands you know however you want to fit it but that's really cool and it does fit nicely in his shell so just a fun little feature and it definitely harkens back to the vintage line so at this point, you've probably noticed what the difference is in the paint deco, but if you haven't, let's go ahead and do this real quick. It's comparison time! On the left is the brand new repainted figures standing alongside the original releases of the Battle Shell Turtles on the right. So the big difference here is with the color seen on the knee pads and the wraps. Uh, and even the, the colors of their bandanas themselves are a bit of a deeper blue and purple. 
So instead of having the browns and the tans, uh, the knee pads and elbow pads and belts on these guys are a real deep black. And then the tape around the feet and the wrists match the color of their bandanas. And it's really striking. It actually looks very, very cool. And what I also like is that Playmates went the extra step to paint the metal portions of their belts. Look at this. Both of the buckles on Leo's straps, as well as the larger buckle on Donnie's strap, is painted with a silver paint. That is awesome. So these guys actually have more paint deco than the original releases of these figures. Um, you know, before they kind of had a bit of a gold tint, but, you know, with just the extra colors, the blacks and the, color, uh, the colors of their bandanas, um, I guess it puts about on par with the other ones. But I will say that I just really like the look. Look at these. I think the black belts and the knee pads, um, when matched up with the colors seen on their bandanas, uh, used on the wrist tape and the feet, it's just a very vibrant, very bright, very striking new look for these characters. In addition to that, their weapons, as you probably noticed, are colored to also match their bandanas. So all of Leo's weapons, including his katanas, are blue. All of Donnie's, including his bow staff, are purple. But I really like it because they're cast in sort of this pearlized color. So they've got a little bit of a shine to them, which really makes them stand out as something unique and special. So overall... I like these repaints. I am totally cool with these repaints. I think this is a fun way to refresh some, you know, very basic versions of the Turtles and get them back on store shelves, but also make them a little bit different than the versions we got before. Plus, I like the colors. I really do. I think the black with the vibrant colors of their bandanas just work very well together. So consider these a batch of repaints that definitely get my thumbs up. So these are hitting store shelves right now. They're showing up at places like Walmart and Toys R Us, and I believe even Target. They're starting to get there already. So happy hunting, my friends. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below and hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more TMNT toy reviews. Until next time, my friends.